guys, welcome to the Copenhagen Fashion Week vlog. I'm currently having a hair dilemma. So if you guys watched the last vlog, you know I got my hair cut. And when I was packing for Copenhagen Fashion Week, I actually didn't pack any curlers or straighteners. So I only brought my Dyson with me with the round brush attachment because that's what I normally would only need. But this hairstyle does require like straighteners or tongs to tame it a bit. And right now it's just looking a bit crazy and I don't know what to do because I really don't want to do a slick back hair because I always do that. And that's why I got a haircut so that I had more hairstyling options. But I forgot the hair tools that I would need and there are no blow dry appointments for today. I did look and I'm just trying to work this out because this is just not, does this look weird? Like I can't tell, true says it does. Wait, does this look weird, true? That's fine. Like, it the keeps wind, changing. The wind, the wind is gonna change it a lot. I think just slick back for now because we're running late. Okay, I'm gonna have to do a slick back hair look, which I didn't want to do because I really wanted to make use of this hair. I just washed it yesterday. But yeah, I can't believe I forgot my tools. So I'm gonna try and, I'm gonna see if I can get a blow dry sometime this week so I can at least have my hair out for one point. But yeah, I think the wind is gonna change it. It's a bit fussy, this hair, so I probably have to do a slick back hair look. But yeah, it's the first day of fashion week. I'm really excited. The sun is out, it's shining. It's a beautiful day. If you guys remember last Copenhagen fashion week, the summer one, how the weather was like windy, cold, and I'd only pack summer things and it was a struggle. It looks like this time around, it's gonna be a nice summer vlog. So I'm really looking forward to it and I'm gonna get ready now and we're gonna to head to our first show of the day, which is Opera Sport. And it's actually the first show of Copenhagen Fashion Week. And I love Opera Sport show, so I'm really looking forward to this one. And we'll of course bring you guys along. So I'm wearing a top from Align, trousers from M&S, some Miu Mews, glasses of Tory Burch, earrings, ah, oh, Daphine. That's it. Today I'm wearing a lot of Finnish fashion. I have something from Comper Lab from a Finnish creative director. This is from uh, Latimir. And the shoes are also Comper Lab. And the uh, jewelry is from Kalevala. Very nice. to represent my home country. Oh my God, I love this. The full look is alive. Yes, full. You look so beautiful as always. I'm wearing the Marni corset top, my faithful skirt, the Jacquemus heels. I have my Chanel sandbag, and then I've got Tiffany jewelry that they loaned me for the trip, and my earrings are Tiffany as well. Very nice, very cool. Sort of editorial straight, I think, but in the middle. So you can see the curve, curvature of the place. Cool. That's, 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 that's the lunch. Oh, this is my lunch? Yeah, the whole thing. Oh, damn. Nope. I need to uh, no, see what Abby, this lunch is. You came prepared. What are you talking about? I'm literally. Oh, wow. Morning. Abby? Yeah. What? This is like a whole shop what in is here. It? Let me see. Basically, this is. I'll have that. Alrighty. Okay guys, we are back in the room. Copenhagen in the sun is just unreal. It's the most perfect day. I feel so good, feel, feel, I feel so happy, feel so positive. The opera sports show was amazing. I think the scene really helped it to feel amazing. It was just the most beautiful setup. I was sat literally opposite the water. So it was a really nice backdrop for the models. Saw lots of sheer, sheer is here to stay. Also lots of ruched pieces. Also I noticed a lot of their bags were similar to the ones that we saw last season where it's like these ruched 
satin bags very beautiful very pretty i also liked the pops of red they had and i feel like opera sport always has some kind of blue in their looks and they had some really gorgeous blue looks so i really enjoyed that show then i went to a panel to see my friend andrea she was doing a tiktok panel fashion is so unregulated and as you know a lot of the eu laws haven't really come into place yet so the fact that they're really putting their foot down and saying we'd love to highlight you but we can't right now until you're you know, meeting, honestly, bare minimum. I think that's such a strong statement. And I also wonder too, if the fact that Scandinavian countries have such, they have way more gender equality than other parts of the world and the status of women is a lot more elevated here, that like women feel more free to experiment and dress for themselves yes. and for other women as opposed to the male gaze. Oh my God, that is exactly Do what I think that I might be these are crazy. <laughs> Very cool hills. Oh, your feet are going to end up on a Oh no. <laughs> I've spoken about Andrea on my vlog before. She has amazing content and she basically goes into stores and checks the composition of like pieces and will tell you whether it's worth it or not or how sustainable something is. She has a book. She is doing just amazingly. So I went to watch her TikTok panel and it was just such good vibes. So now I'm back in the hotel room. We have another show in an hour. I'm gonna do a quick outfit change because I feel really hot and I'm just gonna wear something comfy. Also came to this package. This is my Remain look for the show tomorrow. I thought we could unpackage it together, although I did pick this piece. Actually, I didn't pick this one. I picked a number of looks, but they didn't have them available and they offered me this dress. So this is the dress. I think this is the dress that we saw in Selfridges. Okay, so there's a note. It says, Dear Nuri, can't wait to see you in this lovely dress. Love, Remain. And is this the dress? Oh, it hasn't got, oh. Oh, true. Wrong dress. Yeah, it's not the wrong dress. It's just a different dress to what I thought. You know, when we went to Selfridges in the last vlog, I thought it was that dress because it's the exact same color, but it's a short dress. Do you think this will still work with the jacket? Guys, yeah, this yeah, is- Yeah, I think it would. This is the dress. I thought it was the long maxi one because it's the same color. Because when they showed me what they were sending me, they could only send me like a screenshot of like a section of the dress. So it was literally like this. And it said, they said, this is the dress we'll be sending you. So when I went to Selfridges and I saw the same color, I just assumed that was the dress, but it's not. Okay. But I mean, this will still work with the leather. Let me get the jacket and show you. But it's short. It's a different, okay, it's not too short. <clears throat> okay guys, this is the jacket. Oh, let's let that adjust. This is the jacket that I got for this. It's just that I obviously thought that this was gonna be a maxi dress, but it will still work. I just need to figure out the shoe option then. Maybe I could do with my Mimi boots. Does that work? I need to figure out an outfit for tonight's show, but basically I have less looks planned versus shows. Normally when I come to Copenhagen Fashion Week, I'll have loads of looks planned because there'll be loads of shows. And when there's shows with a big gap in between, that means I can obviously come back to the hotel, get changed into my next look. But I didn't have enough outfits for the shows that I'm attending because as you guys know, I was struggling. So I'm gonna be wearing a lot of my looks for like the duration. But for example, on Thursday, I think it is, most of the shows are back to back. So even if I did have outfit options, I wouldn't really be able to get changed because they're literally back to back. For example, this one I have time to get changed, but I'm just gonna put together a look that isn't like a fashion week look that I planned, but it's just wearable. But that's the good thing about Copenhagen Fashion Week is that you can literally wear whatever you want. I love looking at what people are wearing because everyone is dressed so differently and that's the beauty of Fashion Week is you can just wear whatever you like. You can go really dressy, really casual in between, but everyone just looks so good. The vibes are always so good. So yeah, I'm just gonna wear whatever I feel like today. I did have to end up putting my hair in a slick bag because the uh, hair was not looking good. I really hope I can get a blow dry tomorrow so I can at least wear my hair out for one day. I've got my Tiffany jewels on. Love them so much. Tiffany loaned me some jewelry for Fashion Week and these are two of my favorite collections. This is the hardware and we have the diamonds, guys. Then this is the lock, which I love so much. And then I have the hardware earrings on. Okay, I need to start planning for the next look. Okay guys, so this is what I've quickly put together. I have this top from ASOS. Yes, ASOS. I was shocked when I found this. I basically was just Googling crochet top because I wanted a crochet top. I saw this on ASOS. It really reminds me of something similar I saw on the row, but it was in black, I think. The row did a very similar crochet top and this is from ASOS. I'm gonna link it down below, although things from ASOS do sell up really quick. So I hope it's still available. And I really like that it has these beads here. So I've tied it in with the earrings 
These are from Mango. They're old Mango, but I like the amber color because it kind of goes with that. And then I'm wearing my jeans. These are the jeans from Arquette that I spoke about in the last vlog. And I think I'm gonna wear them with, I'm gonna wear them with these mesh ballet flats also from Arquette because I am not doing heels. I was in heels all day today. My feet are tired, so I need to do flats. I was thinking either this or white Javianas flip flops. What do you think, True? Because flip flops are very scandy as well. Yeah, I think those actually. <laughs> Wait, which ones? The ones you're holding now. Not flip flops. No. Actually, yeah. So we'll do these. Okay, now we need to figure out a bag. So we can either stick to the Chanel sandbag that I wore earlier today. I feel like we should go for something different. Does this go? It's the Bottega. I'm not sure. Because there's not really any other brown. It's all white. But then I'm thinking about the beads. But they're not really brown, are they? Okay, but okay. What about this one? The Loewe? No. No. Too much going on. Okay, so shall we try? But I turn this into, we turn it into a dumpling. Yeah, that what do you think? Let me look in the mirror. Yeah, okay, we'll do this. It's a very casual, this is very summer in the city vibe, isn't it? And then this is the back of the top. It's uh, got like strings. I have my bangle bag and I'm going to do some bangles to match these. Should I? Should I just do one hand and then keep the other hand with the Tiffany? Yeah. Like that? I don't actually like the earrings anymore. Yeah, it's too much now with the bangles. Yeah. I just need a simple, or should I just do no earring? I think no earrings, fine. I feel naked without earrings on. Okay, let's do sunglasses, then I'll know. Could you pass me a Tom Ford one for the ones in the case? This is what happens when you don't plan your outfits. I like this because it has the kind of tortoise shell tones that the bangles and this has, but the shape of it might be too... Does it go with the outfit? I don't like that sunglasses at all. Yeah, I know you don't they like don't. them at all, but like... I've worn them before and I like them, but do they go with this outfit? I don't know if they go with this outfit or not. They're giving two very different vibes. Do I have any other brown sunglasses? This is how the room ends up being a mess because I don't have time to put anything away. Okay, so we have these long champ ones, which I don't think are gonna go. Maybe I just do the Celine I was wearing earlier. I definitely need sunglasses because it was so sunny. It's been so sunny, so I need. Okay, I'm not sure how I feel about this outfit. It's gonna have to do because we need to go to the show now. Okay, let's go. Because I don't want to waste one of my planned outfits for this sh one show. I'd rather use one of my planned outfits for like a back-to-back -back show. Do you get what I mean? Okay, yes, let's go. Morning. Good morning. Actually, it's afternoon now. It feels like it's morning. I am wearing, this is an outfit I've worn before. It's a Magda Butram top, my Theory linen skirt, Alaya ballet flats, Alaya tackle bag, and then Tiffany jewelry. So actually, we have a few presentations to go to today, and then we have a gap, and then we have the remaining show. So I'm gonna get changed in between, but this is my look for a day of presentations. Oh, there's a cool lamp store just there. Okay, so it's actually not a presentation, it's a show, but Copenhagen Fashion Week got the schedule wrong because um, a few people turned up for the presentation, but the show starts at 2pm. So we have another event, so we're going to see if we can go to that event and come back here in time for the show. giving me inspo for the wedding like this is the kind of thing that I want to do for our wedding like making food art I really like the setup that they did there beautiful should we see if it tastes good okay, I'm gonna break it good bro so we just finished shooting we actually this is my idea shop with these planks of wood that are behind True. Abby's coming shooting. And I actually quite like it and I was just saying how much I love Copenhagen. Like I'm just sitting here like I love Copenhagen. The 
went to it looks so good but they stopped serving food at three o'clock because it was really busy so right now we're walking to find some lunch because it is this is a late lunch at three o'clock so a lot of places do close but cantina which we always go to when we're in copenhagen is open so we're going to see if we can get some food there all over it Hey guys, we're back in the room from lunch. I had a little sit down moment because I feel like we've been on the go since this morning. I'm about to get ready for the Remain show. And basically, if you guys remember the dress that I unboxed from Remain, the purple one, I tried it on and it's not my style at all. So I'm really glad that I actually picked this jacket up from Selfridges because I've managed to put together a look using this. And sometimes that is the case with fashion week because like brands will gift you stuff or loan you stuff to wear and sometimes not all of the pieces are my style like we do get a choice of what we pick but it depends on availability so like for example in this instance they sent me what was available rather than what was my choice and i did try it on and gave it a go but like it's not for me like the cut of the dress and the way it hits i just don't see myself wearing it so i need to make sure that i feel comfortable in what i'm wearing and it feels like me so yeah i'm not gonna wear that dress and instead i'm gonna star this coat which is kind of like a death wish because it is so hot outside so i'm hoping the weather's cooling down because yeah this is what i'm wearing i'm just gonna wear like a tank top underneath it because it's gonna be zipped up and closed and then i've actually styled it with these gucci jorts you'll see the full look i'm gonna put a picture of my mirror selfie i took yesterday to send to my sister and true to ask them what they thought because i was in a panic like what do i wear so i basically styled it with my gucci jorts and kind of looks like a vibe i quite like it so that's my look that i'm gonna wear now i'm gonna get ready i'm really really upset that i haven't been able to wear my hair down because i don't have my styling tools it's literally been slicked back but for this look you'll see in the picture that i put in when i tried it on yesterday it was really nice when my hair was tucked in so i'm gonna see if i can put some dry shampoo in my hair because obviously i've slicked it back with product so it's a bit greasy but i want to have it a bit out so we're gonna see how that goes but yeah i've had such a good day today cantina was nice as always it's one of our go-to spots in copenhagen um but i want to try and go to the studio kitchen is that what was called true yeah yeah studio kitchen tomorrow because the food looks so good so i'm gonna see if we can fit in some time to go there tomorrow we've got a really busy day yeah it's just been such a good vibe i keep saying how much i love copenhagen it is just such an amazing city i always say it but if you guys haven't been to copenhagen add it to your list and definitely like spring summer time i think is the best time to come but yeah i'm gonna get ready for the remain show and remain the Remain show is normally one of my favorite shows that i look forward to every season they do such a good show i really loved their show last season it was one of my favorite shows from copenhagen fashion week they have very wearable pieces so yeah i'm looking forward to this show hello transformation okay so this is the look guys we have the Remain jacket and I managed to like dry shampoo my hair enough that I can tuck it into my hair and I feel like this looks good. Gucci jorts, then my Jacquemus heels, honestly, these heels, the best purchase ever. I have worn them with so many more outfits than I thought I would. I think it's because they're like a neutral. Then we have my Loewe. I think this color, the burgundy with this mustard goes really well together. And then I have my Scaparelli charms. That's it, I'm not doing sunnies because I feel like it's too overwhelming for the face because I have my hair covering most of it. Yeah. So, but I love this. Like, this is just a look that I quickly had to put together as a last minute option and it's worked out well. Although I'm gonna be sweating because I'm already really hot in this and I'm only wearing a bra underneath. So it's not like I have another top underneath. I'm committing to the look fully. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you wearing a Okay, I will do it again. It's a job. I think it's like the first one is always going to be the hardest, right? Yeah. Cute. I am so hot in this outfit, like beyond.
the show. It was very good. This show true couldn't come in because it was like they only had one photographer who was the guy who was shooting the whole show. But it was really nice. Again, like really wearable pieces, lots of sheer. I really liked how they styled like sheer skirts with like a leather jacket over the top. Love the neutral tones. I love the pop of red. Some very great looks. Really enjoyed it. <laughs> Okay guys, we haven't spoken to the vlog at all today, which feels weird, but we were just hanging with our friends, so we were just like, going with the flow, didn't vlog much. Anyway, I'm going to a show, going to the Henrik Vibskoff show, and then straight after that is the bomb show. So this is my look. I have on my Arquette jeans that I told you guys I love so much. These heels are from St. Agni. They're giving comfy because they have the wedge. And then this is my Loewe top from, I bought this via my Teresa. I love this color. And also I'm signing it with the Loewe bag. And then I'm gonna show you the accessories. So I've accessorized my bag. I have my Hermes little bag charm, which I thought was quite cute because it breaks up the blue. But then I, I didn't want to wear these sunglasses because I don't feel like they're quite my style now to wear. I actually never did end up wearing these when I bought them. I just think they're a bit too out there. I did try them on just now, but they don't really suit me. But I thought it looked really cute on the bag. It kind of gives the bag a personality and it just goes really well. It's a bit playful. And then for jewelry, I have on my two Tiffany bone cuffs that I absolutely love. And then I just have on these simple gold, not gold, simple gold, simple <laughs> silver earrings. These are from Cos, I think. And then my YSL sunnies. And this is the look. And True, what is your what are your thoughts on this look? I really like the blue with the silver. It really does. Yeah. We've come to the show early for once. Like, it's not very often that we get to a show 15 minutes before it starts. But then also, it's not even going to start in 15 minutes. It'll probably start, it'll probably start at like 5.30. So it's nice. Yeah. We've relaxed. We can take some pictures and not have to rush and worry about running inside.
We are back in my better, baby. How was the show? It was so good. It was so fun. I noticed there were lots of loafers in this one for the styling of the shoes, like office wear mixed with like football shirts, which is a trend that we've seen already this year. So I think that's going to be the one that's like wearing really casual, like say polos with sparkly skirts or lace skirts. Love that. There were lots of nice long shorts and blazer combos. Yeah, just a really fun show. The vibe is good. Like the vibes are always good at the bomb shows. Like it just feels like a party and I got to meet so many of my friends and like I saw Jenna, who we're gonna have lunch with tomorrow. So yeah, I just feel really happy. I love Copenhagen so much. It's like, also it's where I see a lot of my friends who live in London, but I don't see them in London and I'll see them in Copenhagen. It's like everyone just gets together and it's just so nice. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna head back to the hotel. We're having dinner at our hotel with Abby tonight because actually the food in our hotel is so good, like surprisingly. surprisingly. I didn't because the hotel food normally isn't that great, but we had room service on the first day and it was so delicious that I'm ready to have dinner here again. So Abby's gonna come and join us and we're gonna have a chill evening. I'm gonna get changed into not white jeans because I think these already got dirty. Yeah, you're gonna stain your white dress today. Oh my god, yeah guys, the white dress I was wearing earlier today, you guys didn't see, but I stained it in the taco shop. And I'm really upset about that, but I'm gonna get changed so I can't get this dirty. Also, I really like this top and I don't want to ruin that either. So yeah, and that's the line. And we'll have dinner and bring you guys to dinner as well. So I have burrata. This is really nice and it's got like olive, olive tapenade on top. And the tomato is really good. Everything's delicious. And then I have the lobster, no, not prawn linguine with pistachio, which is delicious. Nice. And I got a ribeye and also the pasta because I'm starving today. I didn't realize that the steak would come with a... I love steak. So we're just shooting this outfit. I actually am really happy with this outfit because I got so many compliments and a lot of people think that this is just a dress because it goes so well together. But it is the Meshki dress with a top. This is the faithful top. See how many uses I'm getting out of this faithful co ward set. Sunglasses are the Celine ones. And then my bangles are from Zara. They actually came in a set and I bought two. And then, and I've actually purposefully worn them like opposites, opposites yeah. And then my earrings are from Miss Oma. And then it's like quite simple with the accessories. And then my Mimi boots. Very nice. And also we're playing into the trend of like sheer because almost every show we've been to has sheer pieces. Like sheer is such a big thing. And this is definitely playing into one of those trends, which is sheer. Also butter yellow, like buttermilk yellow. So I actually planned to originally wear this as a scarf, but then I felt a bit shy. And I can show you guys to like this. I think that's cool. I don't have the confidence. What did you think of the show? Loved it. I always love guest do shows. I also loved how they mix prints. There was like a leopard print with like an almost zebra print or cow print. It looks like it's gonna rain, but actually I'm like welcoming it because I feel so hot. So I need some coolness to cool me down. I have a tuna poke bowl and then I also have a special guest with me here. Oh, hello! You guys will all know her. I surely hope so. They will. <laughs> of course. It, no, because every time you've been featured in my vlog, they're like, oh my god, it's Janine! <laughs> and we, together, we also have Josh off. with us. 
<laughs> oh, true, you have that t shirt. I just noticed. Oh, yeah, I do. No, no. It's gonna be matching today. Matching. What did you get? I got prawns mm, and good. french fries. They look so they do good. Look really I'm good. very excited. Also, the fries look really good. They yeah. look like a crunchy. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Same outfit, I see. Yeah. This is why I re wore this outfit. <laughs> It didn't get shot earlier, so now it will be. It was in the opera area, which we came to on the first day for opera sport, but this was like a different location. So we're here for the Marimekko show. And it's very colorful as expected, like lots of prints, like flowers, some denim pieces. Just felt like a summer show. Like it just felt really happy and good vibes. Although it did start raining in the middle of the show and it's been really good weather, but like, the, and then now it's like sunny, but I'm not complaining because the weather has been amazing. This is Abby's bag. It's a new Alaya bag. It's really cute. It's like mesh, like the flats they have, and they yeah. put these like pimples on them. And it, pimples, you know, <laughs> wow, beads. There are they're, they're beads. beads. I love also, it. Also, because it's mesh, it feels like like you can like hold more. Yeah, and it kind of molds too. Yeah, exactly. Okay, we're gonna do. This is a jet. Like I just asked her now if she can do a what's in her bag. So this is a legit what's in her bag. Oh, like geez. not planned. Not planned. Indeed. You're gonna show us what's really in okay, the bag. Okay, what's really in my bag. I've started vlogging a bit, guys. So I have a microphone that links to my phone. So that's like a nice, easy way to just like make sure the audio is pretty good. Currently wearing Portofino 97 by Victoria Beckham. I'm not gonna lie, it smells exactly like My Ceremonia, but either way, I still love it. What's My Ceremonia? This hair brand by Baba, and it's like incredible shampoo and like conditioner, oh. and like that is their signature scent. I this swear. This smells really good on you. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Because I remember when we went for dinner, I yes. gave you a hug, and I was like, you smell really good. Thanks, girl. And then my AirPods, because you know, mm -hmm. AirPods. Customized. Are they personalized? With wow. my name, obviously. Obviously. Um, I don't like chewing gum, but I like these um, strips. I've shown these on a vlog before. <laughs> okay, yeah, you can only so get good. them in the US. Amazon. Oh, yeah, but you might as well just get from the US. Oh, okay, sorry. Not everyone goes to the US all the time. Like and you. yet you do, so <laughs> I don't really know what you're saying. Here no. you go. Thank you. Also, I can't done. get this flavor on Amazon. So well, maybe, there you yeah, go. So maybe. Thank you. Uh, my current favorite lip gloss is by Clarins. Honestly, guys, it's so legit. It's been keeping my lips moisturized. But also what I didn't realize is it has a slight tint. So yeah. my lips have been rosy all week. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even realize. And I, I was like, I realized. Because <laughs> every time you put it on, I was like, oh, that's pretty. I love it. Yeah. It looks so cute. And it smells like candy. Mm, I have this too. And I can also, what's the word? A test. A test. She grew. Yes. Uh, I like to keep moisturized, so I keep my water dewy cream by Tatcha. Just a little tub with me. A little touch up, because I don't really wear makeup, so I touch up my skincare, not my makeup. So this is cute. That's that. And then lastly, my Tory Burch sunglasses. They have been like my hero. Yeah, you've been wearing them like, every day, right? Because I don't do sunglasses the way you do. Like you have yeah. like millions. I think I have like three. Really? Yeah. Three. And so this is like all I've been wearing all week, and yeah. I didn't think it was going to be the sunny. So if I didn't bring these, I would have been screwed. You would have been stuck. Yeah. Anyways. And they actually are, they go with everything they're you've so been wearing. Cute. Right? Because so. they're cut. They're classic. Yeah. Simple. So that's what's in my Alaya bag, guys. Perfect. <laughs> We're not going to do what's in my bag because I literally why not? have. Okay, I'll show you why. We'll do what's in my bag. Yeah. Okay, my phone, which actually most of the time is in my hand. Also, everyone asks me where this is from. This is from Casetify. That's very that cute. From. Yeah. I like that. That's cute. I mean, this is a real what's in my bag. What is that? This is True's t shirt. <laughs> oh. So it can mold the pouch because the pouch is Yo, otherwise has no shape. That's so, smart. You so it's know. a t shirt so that it can hold it. We like that. We like and that. then some chewing gum. This is from Paris. This is because she didn't go to the US and get the strips, guys. So I had to stick with the <laughs> gum. And then I have. <laughs> True's camera lens cap. And then this is actually, this is something What's that I have this? to keep in my bag because it's an exotic bag. So okay. you, if I travel with this, this is the site's certificate for it. Which, Wait, is it that deep? Yeah, because it's because it's Python. Oh my so you have God. to carry this with it. So like if I get stopped at the airport, for example. Wait, really? Yeah, legit. Have you ever been stopped? 
No, but if you do, you have to have this with you. It's like a passport Whoa. for the bag. You see, this python is from Vietnam. And if you didn't, what would happen? They would just take Maybe it. Maybe you get a fine, or they can. Yeah, they probably can seize it because it's like an exotic thing, isn't it? That's crazy. I wouldn't. Have, wow. So yeah, I have to keep. I keep that in the bag always, and that is what's in my bag. <laughs> because basically, we've just been going to the hotel every time to like get change of top up so like lip gloss or like makeup touch ups i just do in the hotel you don't even carry any like lip gloss or any no i actually anything? should though because my lip gloss i need to top yeah. up but i just didn't put it in this bag okay what perfume are you wearing today mm, i can't remember i've only bought two perfumes with me mm. on this trip by Rado Bal de Freak like and Creed. I was gonna say Cantina, but that's the restaurant. It's a purple. Let me. This give... doesn't smell like by Rado. Okay, so, so there's the Creed one. Yeah. Carmina, I think it's called. Okay. Yeah, Creed Carmina. Is that the pink one? It's like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's this one, guys. Creed cool. Carmina. Oh, we can do cutouts. Yeah, that's right. Maya, can you smell it on me? It's just yeah, a little, a little, a little whiff. A little whiff, yeah. Okay. Very nice. True. Nice. What are you wearing today? Nothing. Okay. Just, just my, his body odor. My bo. Oh, guys, <laughs> Mary, be nice. That was nice. <laughs> Actually, sorry. Okay, so we're at the Rotate Show. This is the last show of Copenhagen Fashion Week and this is always the last show of Copenhagen Fashion Week and it's a really nice way to end it because they make it feel like a party every time and it is like such a fun show. So my Rotate look got lost at the hotel. They sent me a look, the hotel lost it. So I've had to put together this outfit, which actually this was one of my plans, and a planned outfit for Copenhagen anyway. So my shirt is from Jacquemus. This is the one that I showed in the last vlog. And then my shorts are also Jacquemus. My shoes are Jacquemus heels. These have actually been such good heels. Also, they are comfortable. I've had lots of questions asking about the comfort of these. These are comfortable. I've been wearing, these are like my most worn heels this trip, right? Yeah. And then my pouch, which also is another one that's been used a lot. And then these earrings are from ASOS. How would you sum up Copenhagen Fashion Week? Good vibes, fun, summery, good energy. That side. Sorry. Like last time, we're gonna go. Bye. Bye. Record the show for me. Oh yeah, I have to, I have to work there. Okay, good one, good one.